The modern version of the Canadian family looks a lot different than the literally black and white images of the 50s. In a lot of cases, this show, Modern Family, seems more fitting. My husband and I have three children and we are from a mixed race uh, background, so that's not that uncommon anymore. New census data reveals the changing face of the Canadian family portrait. There's been a change in the average size from almost four people per family in 1961 to about three now. Some of them are living together uh, less happily. One of the biggest changes in the family dynamic are so-called boomerang kids. Stats Canada says 40 percent of young adults in Canada are still living with their parents, but many of them have a reason, like VJ. Like all medical students know, you know, there's a huge debt that's involved, so I've got a sizable loan that I've got to pay off. More Canadians are living alone these days, the census shows almost 28% of Canadian homes have one person and only one person living in them, triple the amount in 61. Experts say more people can afford to these days. Well, there are a number of reasons for living alone. I mean, the biggest one would be that you can. There are 8% more single parent homes in Canada than there were in 2006, including an uptick in single fathers. The increase in single fatherhood is interesting. It's not huge, but it is increasing. The difference is still large, though. About 8 in 10 single parents are moms. The biggest change in the modern Canadian family is the amount of same-sex couples, up 42.4% from 2006. It's more acceptable to report it. People feel happier to disclose it than they were. Now, the face of the Canadian family may be changing, but the numbers show that here in Ontario and also in Alberta, marriage with children is still very much the norm. In both provinces, about three-quarters of couples are married, and in about 30% of those cases, they have children. Mark Carcassol, Global News.